Greetings, greetings, greetings once again my sports to the bone people Welcome back, welcome back to another video And it's a beautiful Sunday So you know how that go already my peeps Later on we're going to have our Sunday live show Quite a few things to talk about But before we go down into any live business Couple of things I want to share So I was listening an interview on Sports Max. And, you know, we see where the newly appointed head coach, Andre Coley, had quite a few things to say. You know, when he was just appointed, he made a statement. But this was a full interview. So we're going to go through that. Plus, we're going to take a look at the director of West Indies Cricket, Jimmy Adams, giving Brian Charles Lara a whole lot of props for, you know, uh, mentoring the players. Uh, saying that Lara is doing an excellent job. And we're going to take a look at Ransford Beaton. As news coming out is that he's cleared to bowl in CWI tournaments once again. So those are the things that we're going to be covering. Just give a listening ear until the end and make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right. So kicking things off with Andre Coley. Quite a few of us would have heard his initial statement when he got the job. Right. But yesterday I was able to sit and listen to a full 15 minutes interview that he did um, with, this, with some people from Sportsmax. And, you know, as usual, there's a lot of plans. You know, sounds very intelligent. Sound as, sounds as if he knows what he is about. You know, so he was saying that they asked him, what's, what's, what's first? What's the, what's the first step? According to him, that is to prepare properly for India. Because India is what they will have to face, is the team they have to face next. And according to him, plans are already in place. He has already spoken to the lights of um, uh, Craig Brathwaite, the selectors and other stakeholders. You know, um, this test series that we're going to play is the beginning of the, of the new World Test Championship cycle. So we're go definitely going to need to do well in that. You know, it's going to be tough, but, you know, it's, according to him, um, so far they are, they, they are reviewing the past 12 to 24 months. And um, they are looking at short-term goals and, um, you know, trying to find the strengths and the weaknesses in the team so that they can um, address them accordingly. He also spoke about, um, you know, making long-term goals. According to him, the ultimate goal is to make sure that the test team is competitive and is, um, you know, competing for World Test Championship. That is what he's saying. You know, he also spoke about the players, the youngsters, saying that the group that they have is a group of talented players. And, you know, according to him, they are looking to, they are looking to play exciting cricket. They are looking to play a brand of cricket that will get um, spectators coming into the stadium to support the team. You know, um, as I said, Coley thinks that these players are, are very talented. Uh, majority of these players he would have worked with at some point throughout his career, whether it's at, at the West Indies High Performance Center, whether it's at the West Indies Academy, whether it's at um, West Indies A, he would have worked with quite a few of these players. So he knows them pretty well. And he's saying that they are talented. You know, that is what he's saying. Um, he went on to say that um, the, the, the plans for the future is to continue to develop and to make sure that, you know, we, we are not just comp we are not just there playing, but we are able to um, compete against the best teams in the world. Uh, according to him, with the coaching roles split now, um, that is what, that is an initiative to show that they are willing to put in the work. Because, for example, if the test team is away on on duties, on duty, then you know the 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 the, the white ball coach will be able to spend more time will be able to spend time with the white ball team. You know, in the past, once the, 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 the coach is away with a, with, a, with, a, with a team, the next team just have to stay and, and, and do some work on their own or, or with um, other coaches. But, you know, with, the, with two new head coaches, and I agree with that. That is one of the things that I had point, that I pointed out when they just um, announced all of that. So that is, that is, uh, that I understand. I, I can agree with that. You know, he also spoke about the, he was asked about um, competing with IPL and IPL offering players 12 months contract. You know, he's saying that it's all about um, the first thing is to identify that the players have options. 
you know, you don't want to behave as if the players have no options and just stick and, and just behaving as if you are sticking with what you say as as CWI, you know. So he's saying that the first thing is to up, um, accept that they have options and then try to meet with the, you know, try to meet the players halfway and try and, and, and even negotiate with some of these teams. Don't know how he's going to negotiate with business people running their own franchise that don't business, business with them. You understand? So, um... That is what he's saying that they need to go into discussions with the players and make sure that you know the players understand the importance of representing the region and all of that. So, you know, that's just a little synopsis of what Andre Coley, our new um test coach, head coach, had to say. You can check it out on Sportsmax. The full interview is there. All right. Next thing now, director of West Indies cricket, Jimmy Adams. Um he he was he was talking about Brian Charles Lara and um he's you know talking about Lara Lara's role as mentor. Remember they just named Lara as that. So let me just go down into the article here. So it says Director of Cricket uh, West Indies Jimmy Adams has praised Brian Lara for his um role as performance mentor to the West Indies team. As we know, Lara was appointed in January um this year. And he's expected to, the plan was for him to really, you know, be around the players as much as possible, talk to the players, come help with strategies and, you know, pass through the West Indies um, Cricket Academy every now and again and make sure that he's able to um, assi uh, assist players and assess where they are. Um, now, this is, this is Jimmy Adams and I quote, I am going to use this opportunity to say that um, in the time Brian has um, interacted with the team for all reports and what I have seen in person, his impact on the players was positive. He went on to say it was, it was a good addition to have someone um, with, with his experience around the team, the way he carried himself around the younger players and the ease they uh, interacted with him as, um, you know, was really good. So that is what he's saying about um, Lara. He's saying that Brian, um, hold on this. So this sounds as if the, 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 role, the, role, the role is now finished. This sounds as if it was a short-term thing based on what, how, how Jimmy is talking here. Um, so he's saying not just to get um, more from Lara, but whether they are, they, they are other potential mentors out there who can help in similar role. So according to him, they are looking to continue with Laura in the future. You understand? They are looking to continue this sort of program. And if there are others out there that can contribute in this in this way, then they are looking to partner up with them. You know, um I am not sure it sounds as if the, the Brian Laura's tenure is coming to an end, you know, based on what he's saying here. Um you know, so so let us see, let us see. One thing I know. If you are if you are going to be a mentor, if it is not a, 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 cha, a ICC event that is coming up, then you need to be there for a good period of time to help to see the players through different periods. If you are going to be a mentor for like a T20 World Cup or a World Cup um, World Cup tournament, then I can understand that. But outside of that, if you are going to be a mentor, you, you, you definitely want to be in and around the team for a little while to see them transitioning. So... You know, we, we're, going, we're going to wait on more information where that is concerned. Um, finally, Ransford beaten. He has been cleared to bowl in CWI tournament once again. So the article here that I'm saying, that I'm seeing, says that footage that they received um, has cleared Ransford beaten to return bowling in CWI tournaments. So apparently, they will have to send off information um, to, to, to you know to to get um to, to get clearance for ICC and all of that. So they say it was concluded that Beaton uses a bowling action that has levels of elbow extension that are likely to be below 15 degree elbow extension limit. They say this is according to Dr. Mark King, professor of sports biomechanics school of sport exercise and health sciences. They say Beaton was suspended in March this year ahead of the fifth round of the West Indies Championship in Guyana. So according to them, Ransford Beaton is now cleared to bowl in CWI tournaments once again. So I guess there will have to be um, additional work if he wants to 
bowl in ICC organized um, tournaments. It's only sad that he wasn't able to bowl in the fifth round and probably get an opportunity to play in the in the tri Headley Weeks Tri Series because he was doing um okay. So we're gonna leave it right here for now, my peeps. Just continue to stay tuned to the channel and we will touch base later on. Big up.